Having a reduced grade like 30, 35 within the F region can actually affect the performance of a student. You begin to see that when such student sees his or her results, maybe after it has been posted in the notice board, the mood will begin to change and the performance of such student will change drastically. So in this video, I want to actually teach you how to add your carryover grade to your main result. That is to say, after having a carryover grade, how can you incorporate it into your main result? For instance, this is the you know, result of Ada Chuku. And then we begin to see these are the results, these are the grades. We have look at the courses by 101, by 111, up until you know, GST 105. We begin to see that we have different units of these courses, and then these are the grades. Now, Ada Chuku failed physics 101, right, which is a three unit course. And then she had a missing script. You know, this is one of the dilemmas of Nigerian students. In the sense that you know after writing exams you can have a missing script and uh, you know what will be denoted here is nr which is no result so that means that is going to be rewriting gst 105 and then physics 101 and this is the first semester in IE one now i want to tell you something if you have a carryover in your first year in the university you are going to be writing that carryover in the next session that means 200 level four semester or 300 level four semester or 400 level four semester are we together so that means that who is going to be writing this course in the next session so let's go to the second semester and know how many courses she filled now in the second semester look at the courses that who filled is there any courses here okay yes yeah, she filled by 112 remember she already had two carryover in first semester so after the results like after writing her second semester exams still in year one she failed by 112 and then which other she didn't fail any other course okay and can 102 so she failed two courses by 112 and then what came 102. So Ada Tukuna is going to be writing four carryovers. Two for the first semester, two for the what? Second semester. Ada Tukuna can now rewrite her carryover for this second semester in year one. Only during her second year or during her what? Fourth year. Third year, second semester, she'll be you know, at her IT place. So she can come back to her university to write a carryover course. Right? So that's why in for a four-year course, during your three level second semester, you're not permitted to write any carryover. So if you have a carryover in your second semester year one, you can only write it in your 200 level second semester or your 400 level second semester. Meanwhile, if you have a carryover in your first semester year one, you'll be writing it in your 200 level first semester or 300 level first semester or even your final year one first semester. So that is it. So when calculating, we'll still add the zero. I will together and we'll still add the unit that you had your carryover to calculate your GPA. Meanwhile, if you don't know how to calculate your GPA, I have a video in the description below. I've already made that video is in this channel, so you can watch and also learn. And then let's go to the second year. Now look at that second year. This is a result. Awesome. So, but she had a problem here. During her 231, in her 231 result, she had a carryover 32F. And that was the only course she failed. You know, throughout her 200 level for semester. That's her second year in the university. She's studying biochemistry. So what will happen here is this. Now, we can, in this second semester, 200 level, Ada Tuku can rewrite this at 200 level for semester only in 300 level for semester or 400 level for semester. Are we together? And look at her second semester. Did she fail any course? Okay, there was no carryover here, right? Everything was okay. So now let's go to her third year for semester. Third year for semester, did she fail? Okay, she failed Chem 321. Now, in Chem 321, she had 27 F. And also 341, no result, missing script. Maybe her mana was lost, you know, while carrying the mana from one point to another. So, you know, that's why she might have the you know missing script. So here now, chem 321 and chem 341. Can you guess when she's going to write it? Only in her what 400 level first semester. Only. So maybe if she rewrite this course in 400 level first semester and still fail it, you know what is going to happen? It is going to be what? A spillover. I hope you know that. Now, let's go to three level second semester. Look at it here, 372, that's when you go for your IT, as I said earlier. So she got 78, she did well. And then look at her 400 level result. Uh, she didn't fail any course. Remember, if you fail any particular course in this your 400 level first semester, it is going to be a spillover. Spillover is actually trying to take up to 15 unit course. University will only accept a 15 unit extra course. And that inside that 15 units, the course you failed must be inside. So you must pass that your 15 unit course, all of them. For you to be clear in the university so if you fail one course here since it's a four-year course you're not going to be entering 500 level your 500 level will now be you writing what a total of what 15 unit course 
Also, if you thread any course here too, the same thing is applied. So, carryover is only permitted for you in the 100 level, 200 level, 300 level. So, any carryover you have in your 400 level is going to be what? A spillover. So, now remember that uh, Ada Chuku had two carryover in her first semester year one, two carryover in her first, uh, second semester year one, but in uh, 200 level first semester she had a carryover. I think one carryover are we together? So, now we begin to see that. Even in 300 level, she had a carryover. So, you when you write this carryover, you also add the unit. Let's take for instance, we in this 300 level for semester now. This is the total unit. She had uh, an F here and no result. Here, we also add this zero. So, if we say 10 plus 8, we're having 18. And then plus 15, we're having 33. Up until we come here, we have a number. And then we're adding the zero and everything. Are we together? So, even the 101 that she had carryover, in first semester year one maybe she write the carryover in 200 level first semester and still she's having what f are we together so she will also go to the next year so if you're having f continuously maybe you write your physics 101 in your 200 level you still have f 300 level first semester you still have f go to the 400 level first semester and write it so hopefully you will pass so that's what happened here and then you know she write the uh, physics 101 in her third year uh, first semester so and at the end of the day we'll add the unit so if initially we had maybe 23 units we we'll add this three to be 25. If initially we have a total of uh, while calculating this, we have maybe 80. We we'll add this two here to be 92. We we'll do GPA will be equal to 92 over what over the total here over the total of this unit. Are we together? So that's how to calculate that. I hope you understand that. It. Thank you so so much for coming around. I want to see you again in my next video. Please, if you find this video helpful, if this video helped you, and if you understand anything in this video, I'd like you to share this video to your friends. Invite them to join us in this channel and hopefully we'll grow together. If you have any question, don't forget to ask. That's why I'm here. See you again in my next video. Bye for now.